everyone. This is Outdoor Family Adventures, family with a PH because we are the fam family. My name is Ton, as in Juan Ton, and we are a family of four. Anthony, my husband, and my daughter Faith, my son Blake, and our doggy Bandit, along with Grandma Diane, will be building and traveling with our 2019 uh, Ford Transit passenger van. Um, we have a 148 wheelbase high roof uh, 350 XLT. We chose this particular size because it fits in a standard parking spot. I will be using it as my everyday car. I'll be dropping the kids off at school, picking them up, and running all my mommy errands. We started this channel so we can document our journey and wanted a way for our fam family and friends to get updates. While we were researching YouTube, trying to figure out the layout of our van, uh, we didn't find as many uh, channels that were in the same situation as us, having five, traveling with a van for five, seating five, and sleeping five, um, and not doing this full time. Right? We're hoping to just do weekend excursions and vacation that night. During our journey, we hope that we will inspire families who are thinking about trying to take this leap to be vulnerable. Um, this is a word I learned from a conference that I attended, and it's one of my favorite words. Uh, to be vulnerable means to be vulnerable and courageous. We hope to be vulnerable during this adventure and be as transparent as possible with the highs and lows of van build and traveling with five. This is our first video introducing our van, OPA. Uh, she's an acronym for Outdoor Family Adventures. We didn't realize at the time that it spelled out OPA. Uh, which is a Greek word that has multiple different meanings and often used as a celebratory term. Right? While I was researching this word, I stumbled upon an article called Everybody Say Opa by Alex Patakos, who also wrote a book, The Opa Way. And there's a section in the article that makes it feel like it was just meant to be. Quote, Opa is a very interesting word that one that we have mentioned has a very long history indeed. It is much more than simply a word per se. It also is a word that carries with it deep and profound meaning, meaning that can help us as we travel along life's highway, end quote. Isn't Opa just perfect for our van? Of course, now Greece has moved up even higher on our international travel list. She left Indiana on Saturday um, and because our driver Gustavo was transporting three vehicles to different destinations, she arrived at our house on Thursday. Um, I will have a different video to walk you through the process of finding our van, uh, step to secure the van from out of state, and where to have inspections done and finding and transporting company. This video is for you to just see how she arrived, give you a quick introduction to her, and explain an overview of our vision for her, the build. So introducing our baby, Opa. Okay, we are test driving the new car. Hi! Oh, exciting. Okay, here we go. This is my first time test driving OPA. And. Ooh. Okay, Grandma and I are test driving because Daddy's in a meeting. I'm just going to take it around the block really quick and come right back. Yeah, it feels really smooth. Yum, yum, yum. How does it feel, Mom? Good. Yeah. Really, 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 really smooth. The car, everything looks good. I can see because there's lots of mirrors on windows everywhere. I 
mean, I can see on the world that it's big, but when I'm driving it, it doesn't feel too bad. It's not that much different than driving a car. Yeah. 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 First turn. Smooth. Okay. Good. Woo! It is a long one today. I am very hot. Actually, this is my first time driving a transit altogether. I've never I think the heater got off. I wonder. Let's turn off the heater. Woo! I was wondering why it was so hot. so we can sign the paperwork and take the cell phone and let the heat get out because he's been driving for a long time. He picked his car up from Indiana and then he had a drop off, I believe, in Texas. And then he dropped off in LA and then he dropped off ours and then he still had to go to Northern California. Uh, Northern San Francisco. on the handbrakes and Jimmy Anthony is getting the test drive for the first time. He was in the meetings all day and did not get to test drive yet. But here's our baby. It still has we were just observing that it still has a brand new um car smell to it. There's the boys in the back. Faith has a call still so she couldn't find Glenda. But Baby. Lots of window. We love the windows. Then it was exploring. They just said that it was exploring. It was really smooth. What do you think, honey? Yeah. Smooth, right? Yeah. yeah, we were both observing that we really like that it's high up. You can kind of see out. Um, that's really nice. Beautiful day. Okay, Anthony is testing right now. Uh, I was parking in a hold on, babe, standard parking spot. So that was the main reason why we got this, so that it could be my everyday driving car. And look, it fits beautifully in a parking spot. And that was the main reason we got this lady, so that I can use it as my everyday car and it fits in a standard parking spot. Good job, bud. Oh my gosh. I think Daddy likes it. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a better tour. I recorded it earlier, but there was a lot of quick yelling because he's excited and everything. So here's our baby. So here, it actually is a 2019, but it still has this new car smell. Um, it's great condition. It was only, I believe, um, 25,000 miles. So it's great. There's a little backup camera there. Um, everything looks really good. There's this overhead thing here that we're eventually going to pull out and make it a longer one so we can put more storage. All of these panels that you guys see will be ripped out. That all of it will be gone, so we'll have a lot more lay, uh, headroom because we need it for the build. Um, here's all of our seats. So we're going to keep this one because um, this will be the one for now to transport Grandma and Faith and Blake and Bandit. And then we decided we're going to keep the single one and this double just in case. If we're only traveling with one of them, we can just use the one. Or if we're traveling with um, just two of them, we can tra we just keep the two. And then we'll probably get rid of all of these back here. Um, 
these last two rows. Um, even though we're keeping these seats, we're not gonna keep them in the van during the build. Of course, this is only to replace the front seat. So this on this side will be our bench seat that will pull out and convert into a bed. Um, on this side will be our galley. Um, our water tank is gonna be over the wheelbase right there. There's a water tank that goes over the wheelbase. And then there, this um, our butcher block is gonna be right here. It's, I think of an inch above um, or a couple inches above the window frame, right? So our butcher block will house our sink, our stove, our refrigerator. And then this spot right here behind the seat, this box right here before this frame will be the restroom. Our compostable toilet will be in there. And then it opens up, uh, well, it opens up for you to use the restroom and then also we'll have something to hang um, a shower curtain from the top when you're using it as a shower. Otherwise, it'll come down. Um, we'll have two shower, the indoor shower here and then an outdoor shower that will be hanging on this back door. Um, and then on top here will be our hydraulic bed. <laughs> so our bed system, we're not sure which system we're going to go yet or with yet. The Happy Jack is the, the one that they sell. It's um, a lot more expensive and we would have to wait for shipping and stuff like that or we can build it ourselves with actuators and that's what people do so we're still going back and forth on deciding what we're going to do with that but this weekend we're going to take a camping we'll probably remove all these seats we have an air mattress back here for me blake and me and blake i actually think all four of us might be able to fit in here with a mattress and like a um a uh, inflatable smaller mattress and then i have this cushion bed thing i mean this inflatable bed that fits on this seat hopefully for grandma so we'll see how that works well we'll definitely see but we originally were going to go with the um cargo van which doesn't have the window but we decided to go with the passenger van because we wanted all the windows since it's gonna be my everyday car. So here's the back. What I love about these doors is you can open it just to here or you can unlock it and open it all the way and get it completely opened up. So we wanna enjoy the view from our bed. Um, we can completely open this all the way, but we'll have a shower system back here for people to sh for us to do outdoor shower, especially if we're sandy from the beach, um, then we can clean our feet before we get in. This is an AC unit. We're thinking of keeping it, so we're gonna have to build around it so that we can have AC in the back, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. But there's our baby. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna follow along with our van build adventure, remember to subscribe. And if you wanna get notified when our new video come up, um, comes out, Make sure to hit the bell and you'll get a notification. But we will also include the links to the article and links to all our other social media. Um, we're going to end the video here by saying thank you so much for watching and opa! Oh.